The dive and rescue team is a group of sworn officers with a special skill set to investigate cases underwater. From evidence recovery to explosive device detonation in the San Diego Bay, the Harbor Police dive team is ready to go 24 hours a day. 23 members of the Harbor Police Department serve on its dive and rescue team. These are officers who already have their basic and advanced scuba certifications, along with 20 minimum current dives in their logbook. At that point, they can apply to the dive team and be put to the test. What we do is we basically do an underwater obstacle course that basically to assess their skills, to assess that they're, they have proper buoyancy control, they have proper scuba control, because we're not teaching people how to scuba dive, we're teaching people how to do public safety diving, which is different. Um, once we get people onto the team, they basically start getting task loaded a lot and something's doing something very simple, like basically just looking for a an object. Um, they have to be able to scuba dive, they have to be able to properly maintain their buoyance, and then on top of that, operate tools, um, compass, cameras, sonar, all types of all types of equipment. October 4th, 11, 14 hours. The dive team handles evidence and body recovery as well. On this dive, the officer is looking for a gun thrown into the water by a suspect who ran from police. We had one of our officers contact somebody that was using narcotics. Uh, that person fled on foot and ditched what he saw. He didn't actually see what he threw into the uh, uh, into into the bay, and but he had a, a box of ammunition on him. So, uh, lo and behold, he had ten rounds missing from that box of ammunition. So we dove the area, uh, we recovered a gun. The gun was loaded with the same ammunition that was in that box, and it was a loaded uh, and stolen firearm. That suspect was arrested and charged with possession of a loaded and stolen firearm, the key evidence that was collected by the dive team. Mask. Mask pins are over there. <laughs> The crew also responds to possible explosive devices, which requires the use of underwater dive tools. While the objective is to keep San Diego and our surrounding areas safe, that starts with keeping the diver safe. We throw tools at uh, any problem as much as we can because we want to avoid possible injury to our divers. So if we did have a bomb or an ID or anything that was an underwater explosive type of uh, device, we would probably throw an ROV or what's called a remote operated vehicle, basically like an underwater drone to go look at it, inspect it. We can have, we can use sonar technology to basically assess, you know, the location of it um, and use those tools to mitigate some of the hazards. We often do uh, peer sweeps or infrastructure sweeps where we basically will look for devices, uh, especially like if a ship's coming into port, then we can search that pier and make sure that there's no explosives, explosives or anything suspicious in nature. And like I said, if we do find something, we can always um, uh, use some of our advanced tools to like remedy it and uh, take it from there. But Homeland Security is one of the biggest missions of the, of the dive team. The team is also part of the San Diego Regional Aquatic Life Saving Emergency Response Task Force which means they respond to mass rescue and mass casualty aquatic events. Thankfully, however, sometimes the call just ends up being a simple case of lost and found. We found a leg, like an, uh, a basically a prosthetic leg that belonged to somebody. And we ended up finding the owner and returning it to that person. And that person was obviously very, very happy, but it was a former um, service person that lost his leg in a, you know, in, in a, heroic way and then had a prosthetic, went out uh, boating with his uh, family and friends and ended up losing that leg. So we recovered it and uh, returned it to the owner. Lieutenant Benuelos told me Harbor Police is about to start a campaign to hire some new recruits. They're going to have new incentives for their officers, in fact. And when those details are released, we'll pass them on to you. Ginger Jeffries, KUSI News.